Welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. Welcome to Summit Tackle, and let me introduce you to the Summit Tackle pod bag. Now, when you buy either a hardened cobalt pod or a Colosseum stainless pod, you'll be getting a standard one of these pod bags. I'm just going to talk you through the pod bag, what's inside it, how everything fits in there. It's a nice green carpet colour and the material is really hard wearing, really hard wearing material that um, will you know, put up with everything you throw at it. If it gets muddy or dirty, uh, it's wipe it clean and it cleans up really nice and it'll last you forever. We've got a nice Summit logo on there, down the bottom there. Uh, we've got some heavy duty zips, you know they zip both ways as well. So it's not a case of you just got one zip and that, if that just happens to break, which it won't, um, then you're gonna, you know, be, be in trouble because you can't zip it up again. If one breaks, then you've got the other one to work fine for you. So that's a nice little addition on there, is to have the two, two zips on every, on every um, part of it. Um, we've got a front pocket. Now we spoke to our consultants, feedback from customers um, about what they would like to see in the pod bag. The guys out there using it day in, day out. And they said they want a front pocket so they could put all their bits and pieces in like their, their uh, you know, spare bank sticks, like the short bank sticks that you can get as well. Or you know, maybe a set of scales or, or, or even their um, easy tight key, which comes as standard when you buy the three, the three buzz bar. Pods, pods either in the Cobalt or the Colosseum stainless um, so we put a nice feature we put a nice big big front pocket on there that zips open like so and personally I keep me bits and pieces like a couple of spare buzzer heads and me, me thread protectors and so really important is I keep my little cleaning kit now I did a video on, on the cleaning kit that you go and have a look at it's well worth having a look at all the way through and it'll show you how to maintain all your hardware, all your Summit hardware, whether it be the Cobalt Hard and Black or whether it be the, the Colosseum Stainless. It will show you exactly what to do to keep it clean. After every session, what I do is I get my little cleaning kit out, give it a rub down and it's like brand new again, ready for the next session. So make sure you check out that video. I'm gonna put a link in the description of the of the YouTube video below, so then you can uh, you just go and click on it, and uh, also I might just put the link in up now, up in one of the corners, so you can just press that and go straight to it anyway. So well worth checking out. Go and have a look about how to maintain your cobalt and your st and your Colosseum stainless. So that's the front pocket. You can put whatever you want in there really. Now let me go on to the onto the handle there, now that's a hardened plastic with a stiff section inside that will always keep it with that curving which is which grips your hand on the handle. It's also stitched, double stitched and press studded so it's never going to come off because you know it can be quite heavy your pod sometimes can't it with your bits and pieces in there and everything. Last thing you want to do you're putting it onto your barra or you're taking it off or putting it on your bed chair and it snaps you know after half after, a after dozen uses. So we've really thought about little bits and pieces like with the material being really tough toughened and with the handle as well that you're going to get a lifetime's use out of it. Let's open up the, uh, the main compartments and show you what's inside. Let me take you to the to the first uh, the first compartment, which is which holds your your pod base. Um, that's the stiffened walls, so it can't move about. It can't damage itself if you drop it or you put it down. It's not going to damage itself. And we've got two Velcro straps there. Now the Velcro straps they will keep your your base pod in its position so when you're moving it about because it's going to get moved about quite a bit it's not going to damage it it's not going to fall out like some of the pod, pod bags i've seen is when you're moving it along it opens suddenly and then boom your base station gets all buckled or bent up or whatever it won't happen with this pod bag because we've got these these uh, little holders in there and you'll notice we've also got a couple more a couple more there and these are for for the extension that you will be able to get. You might be able to get it now when this, when this video's come out. It's an extension to make your, your base even, lo even longer, even wider. Now, a lot of the European guys, 
they like to have a long pod for different situations to get maximum elevation or you know to get it down into the water so that would be something which you can purchase as well which would be your extension extension for your base your, your middle uh, stainless or, or cobalt um, you know piece of equipment that you can put in there to make to make the pod longer so we put those in there with, as a as a second thought you know we've really thought about the layout of it for things that are coming afterwards as well so there you go there's a couple of little velcro straps there as well which are uh, just for that purpose now the middle bit it's um it's a little bit stiff it's, it, it's a little bit stiffened so it, it but it's soft as well it's like a soft foam in there soft foam so it cushions it cushions your base your base pod uh, your base layer of your pod and it just uh, hugs in there like that to keep it all nice and protective now it doubles up also to hold your three rod buzz bars now also again you'll see we've got a couple of couple of a couple of uh, fasteners there you know that so it doesn't move about in transit because sometimes you can you, you open it up and it's all over the place with these you won't you've got two not just one you've got two on each of the three rod buzz bars which will hold it in place you know stop it getting damaged to really look after your quality you know your quality summit items of hardware you know you pay a lot of money for for quality and you want to keep it quality so that's what that's what those are there for as well so that keeps that all nice and now let's look at the final the top the top bar which is the top end of the pod bag you'll see on the left hand side here you've got four uh, uprights these are uprights for your pod which is screw on elasticated tubes there's a short pod uh, pod upright now you have two as standard you have two short ones and two long ones and depending on, on your configuration of how you're fishing whether you want to fish it up high then you have the two short ones at the back and the two long ones at the front you know sort of makes sense doesn't it and then if you want to fish your rods uh, down then you have the two long ones at the back and the two short ones at the front you will also be able to buy uh, additional short or long ones depending on uh, it, it, you can go even further how you want it to to um, you know to be up or down or level or or, or or however you you know how you want it to be that's the beauty of this pod system you can add to it take it away and it sort of doubles up as other little bits like the three rod buzz bars you can have them on the pod but you can also have them separately so if you're going for a day session you don't want to take your pod then you can just take your buzz bars and your bank sticks which i'll show you in a minute which are the standard legs you know they, they double up as bank sticks as well so we, we've also taken the time to test out different fabrics and this is the elasticated fabric uh, we've got it just just right where they will fit in you know not too tight not too loose they rattle around or not too tight so you can't even get them in but they're absolutely perfect just stick them in like that push them down and it holds it absolutely snugly you know it holds it real snug so there you go there's your uprights too short and and too long they come a standard as well and you'll see a little a little um, pouch there with a little flap on it as well with a velcro and again you've got your four um, elasticated sort of tubes where you stick in your, your standard pod legs again it, they cut they come out of these they go in with these and they, they hold they're held snugly so there's one of your your normal standard pod legs and that just fits in absolutely beautiful you, as you can see into that elasticated material just push it in like that you know no no effort and it holds it really snugly uh, and to give it extra protection it flaps over like that uh, just to keep it all nice and neat now this is you know again in line with the carpy carpy green material this is all waterproof so even if you get a bit of water in there where you're packing up in the rain and that it's not going to um it's, it's not going to degrade any of any of the bags it's all waterproof so that's your your summit tackle pod bag You've been tuned in to TFTV. Tackle Fanatics stock an extensive range of tackle and bait from all the leading manufacturers. To check it out, go to www.tacklefanatics.co.uk. Member Tackle Fanatics also offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.